The Toyota Corolla Cross adopts all the qualities of the legendary Corolla and implements them in SUV form. Being constructed on the TNGAC platform, which is the same as the Corolla, this SUV ticks all the right boxes for family buyers with its value-oriented pricing, spacious cabin, and many standard techs and features. A new hybrid powertrain joins the lineup for 2023 and includes standard all-wheel drive. So let's look at 10 things you need to know before buying the 2023 Toyota Corolla Cross. The perfect pricing of the Corolla Cross makes it one of the most enticing propositions in the subcompact crossover segment. In comparison, the Subaru Crosstrek is priced higher than the Corolla Cross, and the latter also comes packed with many standard features, even for the base L trim configuration. If you go with the top-of-the-line XLE trim, you get all the relevant features like 18-inch wheels, 7MID system, Softex trimmed upholstery, ambient lighting, LED headlights with LED DRLs, and all the driver assistance techs. Like the sedan version of the Corolla, the Corolla Cross also turned out to be an excellent proposition regarding interior space and creature comfort. Features like automatic climate control, multiple storage options, heated front seats, and faux leather upholstery significantly add to the comfort factor. The front seats are well bolstered, offer top-notch support to the passengers, and the ergonomics are spot on. The rear seat has the best in class under thigh and lower back support. The larger exterior dimensions create better headroom, legroom, and shoulder room, making it a comfortable five-seater SUV. The cargo capacity of 25.5 cubic feet is better than the rivals. The Toyota Corolla Cross comes with a full suite of driver assistance tech as standard. This includes adaptive cruise control, automated emergency braking, lane departure warning, pedestrian detection, reverse parking sensors, blind spot monitoring, and driver monitoring alert. The basic safety features like airbags, driveline traction control, stability control, side impact beams, tire pressure monitoring system, and backup camera are standard. While the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration hasn't crash tested the ongoing model, Insurance Institute for Highway Safety gave it the top safety pick plus title in the small SUV segment. The Corolla Cross's exterior design will not offend anyone, and we appreciate the overall stance and rounded design. The black cladding and grille go well with the SUV stance and are wider and higher than all the other rivals. However, the design looks bland, and the Jeep Compass and Hyundai Kona stand out better on the open road. The 18-inch wheels, multiple character lines on the profile, and neat roof rack rails in black give it the required stance. However, the base L trim doesn't give the same elegance as the higher trims due to the lack of many features. The rear end also looks like the part with the LED taillights, black lower bumper, neat rear spoiler, and shark fin antenna, and the seven exterior colors make it very youthful. The acceleration offered by the standard 2.0 liter naturally aspirated inline four motor mated to a CVT automatic transmission is just about adequate for daily driving. Producing 169 horsepower and 151 pound feet of torque, the Corolla Cross turned out to be petty decent for driving slowly through the city streets due to the excellent low end torque. The CVT automatic is not going to disappoint you at slow speeds as well. However, as the speed increases out on the open highway, the lack of grunt could easily be identified, and the drivers would feel wanting for more. Mashing on the gas pedal will not give you a fast overtake, and the CVT automatic transmission is quite laggy when demanding quick overtakes. The 0 to 60 miles per hour time of 9.2 seconds and the top speed of 120 miles per hour are not as good as the Honda HRV and Hyundai Kona. Like the Toyota Corolla, the Corolla Cross's refinement level will not excite many prospective family buyers. 
The biggest culprit here is the mediocre sound deadening on offer, especially compared to the Hyundai Kona, which had well-controlled wind noise and road noise. The tire noise of the highest XLE trim turned out to be very high as the speed rose to more than 60 miles per hour and the constant drone will tire out the passengers. The powertrain is not the most refined out there and the CVT transmission bogs down the traveling experience due to its rubber band effect and the motor sounds course higher up the rev range. The ride quality of the Corolla Cross is very similar to its sedan iteration and the passengers will be overall pretty happy with its comfort. With the suspension tuned to the softer side, the low speed ride quality is top notch as it easily absorbs most potholes and undulations on the road. The highway ride quality was also better than the Honda HRV. When you hit some serious road undulations on the highways, the vertical movement doesn't contribute much, unlike the rivals, and the suspension works silently. Even though there's more body roll than in the Compass, it isn't a deal breaker. All models get an updated infotainment system with an 8.0 inch display. Being a floating display that is neatly integrated, we found it perfect for both the driver and front seat passenger to use. The display quality and touch sensitivity are better than many rivals. There are many hard buttons and knobs on offer, and the driver wouldn't need to use the touch screen for the basic functions. Most features like Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, Sirius XM Radio, Bluetooth, AUX, and USB ports are standard. The Toyota Corolla Cross offered a sharp initial bite with a four-wheel disc brake setup and all the necessary braking features like ABS with EBD, automated emergency braking, and brake assist. It ventilated front discs with excellent braking progression, and the brake pedal offers decent feedback. However, we found the front end dives to be on the higher side when compared to the sedan and hatchback versions of the Corolla. Nevertheless, the 70 to 0 miles per hour braking distance of 172 feet falls in the same ballpark as the rivals in the segment. Coming with front wheel drive and all wheel drive trains, the Corolla Cross with the front wheel drivetrain turned out to be one of the most fuel efficient offerings in the subcompact crossover segment. It could do 31 miles per gallon in the city, 33 miles per gallon on the highways, and combined gas mileage of 32 miles per gallon. If you get the all-wheel drive variant, the combined gas mileage reduces to 30 miles per gallon. However, the 12.2 gallon fuel tank capacity was the lowest segment, resulting in a mediocre tank range compared to the rivals.